Professor Hoppe wouldn't necessarily maybe enjoy this very much, but I, uh, one of the merits that I see is that uh, this theory of property rights is one of the uh, most powerful is illustrations in the 20th century for uh, a human account on the, uh, and I, I want to put it very carefully, a human account on the function of norms, of rules. Not, not on the content of rules, yeah. but on the function of rules. So in, in this respect, I guess this argument recovers a very powerful intellectual tradition of Scottish Enlightenment. And it's again very important because the mainstream is to see uh, norms, to see rules as either uh, the kind of uh, production of hopeful monsters, as uh, someone put it, like moral intuition, or uh, you have to posit all kinds of uh, weird entities or uh, faculties in order to show what rules are for. And for Hume and also for, for Professor Hoppe, the rules are there to solve problems of interaction. It's nothing mysterious, nothing metaphysical about them. It's just to solve the problems that uh, people face when uh, bumping into each other in one way or another. And this, uh, this I guess, offers uh, this tradition, this view of the, on the function of rules. Uh, offers, offers moral philosophers, moral theorists, uh, the sort of instrument and understanding of what morality is about that uh, totally lacks, or almost totally lacks in the moral philosophy of the 20th century. I mean, Hume was uh, forgotten and uh, uh, Mill or sometimes Kant one uh, in, in 20th, 20th century with regard to the, uh, to the function, to the understanding of the function, function of rules. And uh, this recovery seems very important for me. Before you say some, two, two, two remarks. The first um, is a biographical remark. My, my PhD dissertation was on, on you. Uh, so, uh, even though on his epistemology, I had mostly disagreements with him on when it comes to his moral philosophy and his insight into scarcity, scarcity and scarcity uh, leading to conflicts requiring rules and so forth. In, in that regard, I did learn from you, and I have also quoted him in, uh, 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 in that book. Uh, one, just one word. It, it is, however, an important distinction in the, in the account of uh, property rules in Hume and uh, Hoppe. And uh, not, I mean, for Hume, the account is, of, is evolutionary, while for you it's counterfactual, which, which is a great difference, a, a very important difference. But uh, yes, on the, the basic understanding of the function of uh, property rules, I would. Yeah, I would.